funny. <laughs> so today I'm just going to do a new products for me video and hopefully you like it. So uh, first things first, I'm going to prime my face with Post Shave Nivea Balm by Nivea. And how are you guys been? I'm so sorry. I don't want to neglect you guys. You know, I really like you guys. I want to make this my other career, so gotta get this gotta get this going. As you can see my vanity room has changed. Or my background. You haven't seen my vanity room yet. Been working on that too. So we'll see. Okay. So I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 foundation and concealer in tan. And my booty bonder. Well, first I'm gonna put this on my face. But if you guys wanna see me and, I, and you notice that I'm not posting and you wanna know what's going on, um, go on my Snapchat. I changed it to Sizzly Hour because the childbirth options really was supposed to be for my midwifery free clients. So I fixed that. Now I have two Snapchat accounts. One for you guys and one for my midwifery clients. So go to Sizzly Hour for makeup and chop up the options for midwifery. Okay. So I'm starting to like this one. Wow. This is really nice. And as you can see, I'm tan. I've been in the sun. And it really sucks to move. So I've been trying, people. Moved into a building with, for my movie clients, um, closer to home, as well as it's only a little room because I don't go to the office that much anymore. I do all my paperwork from home, and then I see you guys at the office. So I hope you guys understand. Little. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. I like it. And if I seem brighter, I have a lot more lights in here, so that's probably why. So I'm trying to play with that too. Okay. So then to correct, I'm going to use the Brighting Illuminator in Maybelline Erase Dark Circles. I haven't found any new concealers to play with, so. Because it was a new drugstore foundation. I said, let's keep everything drugstore. I know, that's crazy. Because well, really, my real technique sponge is daunting. I was being lazy and I didn't want to clean it. But, does that really matter? A sponge is a sponge. Not really. Beauty blush is pretty cool. I got the new one. It's called the Beauty Blusher. And then I also got the nude one. And then. Anything else I got? Oh, and then I got the Body Blender. Because I was gonna self tan, but this is all natural from the sun. Alright, so this is the medium light. And it's still hella light. So. Balance out. The highlighting is. It looks so white in these lights. It's crazy. But yeah. I don't have a new concealer, that's why I'm using this one. So. so the new products are the Milani Foundation. Um, I know you guys are gonna be like, what? Um, I've never tried out the Physicians for the Bronzers. I know, sue me. Uh, I used to be, when I used to buy foundation when I was in school and stuff, that's all I bought was Physicians for Formula. 
But then I got a reaction to their foundation, their powder foundation. So I stopped using Physician's Formula. And then I started watching Kathleen Lines. She talks about her, 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 how she loves her Physician Formula bronze. So I'm like, you know what? I gotta go back. I gotta see. So I'm hoping that it doesn't break me out anymore. But then I also found out that the brushes I was using, I never cleaned them. That's when I became OCD with my brushes. Make sense? Make sense? Okay. My Aerospawn Transition Powder. Not a new product to me. So, use that with my Wat Boda Bono. I figured white powder. Why not use a Wat Boda Bono? This stuff smells like my grandma. I'm putting powder where I put concealer, but I'm not setting anywhere else. Not just yet. Not yet. I should though. But I won't. Okay. So new to my channel. A Rainbow Kate Edition in 003 Golden Bronze. So I'm gonna use this to contour. Okay. My M523 brush. I'm gonna use it right in here. Mm -hmm. I always go little because you never know. And I go very light. A lot of people say I use too much high end. I'm like, no, I don't. I have, I have a drugstore. And I wanted to put it on your chin. Like, fine. So. I went to Walgreens, got the new stuff. Very inexpensive stuff. Mm hmm. My hair looks crazy, I know. Sorry, peeps. Contoured. That's actually pretty. It's very pretty. So I'm only going to use that one from this. I, I think I'll probably use a highlight. I'm not sure. But taking it. It's what it Okay. And I look hella crazy. Alright, so now I'm going to get my Morphe M527 with my new Physician Formula Bronze Booster Medium to Dark. Did I, just, did I just do that? Did I really just do that? There we go. Isn't it pretty? I like the sun in the middle. Alright, let's see. Thing is with me is that I am already tan. So to get a bronze to bronze on me is kind of hard. It looks like I just put shimmer on my face. Oh, here we go. Give me some time, Jesus. Okay. I see, I see the hype. I see the hype. See, I'm one of those people that I love. Like, give me sun, sun powder for MAC. So, using a different product for me. It's kind of hard, but I'm trying. I'm trying, people. I'm trying. Okay. okay, bronzed, contoured, 
Still breakage. Let's put some blues. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon in 328. Oops, the blush fell out. 328 B and Mellow Wine. Is it pretty? I already opened it once to swatch it. So now using my E4 Morphe brush. This is hella powdery. Mmm, myself some rosy cheeks. Mmm, 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 E1 or E4 one? Where's my E1? E4 one. Right here. Reminds me of my E G O. Where's my E1 brush? Give me a second. Fire Fire people. E2. I know I have an E1. Here it is, E1. But I'm gonna use my E41. That was like this one, but it's not. And I'm gonna just dust everything away. Okay. So to balance the whiteness, sometimes it's a little too black. And of course, this is my new brush too. So, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. My color, everybody always asks me, is 700 Classic Tan. Good, good. And people always say, why don't you do that before you do everything else? So it'll go smoother. I never had a problem with patching this, so why should I? There's no, I always want to tell people there's no rules in makeup. There is and there isn't, but it's like a creativity artist type of thing. So you guys do whatever you want. Whatever you guys feel like inspires you or you want to try. So don't feel like you have to follow certain agendas, okay? So I'm going to go back into this guy. And use that highlighter up here. Let's try this one. Okay. Okay, so I'm highlighter. It's giving me a glow. It's not making me probably not shine from the stars, but oh, never mind. Talk to you soon. It's just oh yeah. How's that? It's a shine. Okay, and then I do this, so that way you can see a little glow. I'll do this. There we go. This is what people call strobing, because you put it in certain areas where you can strobe. See? I like to look hella shiny. I'm not oily really anymore. And isn't it funny when you're oily, you want to go matte, and then when you're matte, you're finally, you want to go oily? It's kind of weird how things work, huh? Oh, I'm using the Morphe 510 brush. Uh, I used the 501, but I was like, you know what? Jeffree Star uses this one. Let's try it. I do like it. This reminds me of the Kathleen Lights. Uh, if you've watched her March Favorites, um, the Zueva brush. So, if you guys can't afford the Zueva brush, Morphe M510. A little bit on my chin. A little lot. Just need to make a little shine. Ooh, look. so pretty. Okay. Yeah. So that's gone. 
Oh! Oh, I'll do that after I do my makeup. Okay. <laughs> so I hope you guys are doing well. Sorry for making you wait for a video. Now what? It's been such a long time with my makeup. Okay, so I'm going to do my new wild Anatural. What is this called? 754A Nude Awakening. So I'm going to use my E27 brush to put a transition set. So I'm going to... I'm going to take this out because I keep forgetting to hold it. I'm going to use this one right there to a transition. I know, it's like a makeup tutorial. Trying out new products. Whoa, that's hella pigmented. Like, I barely touch my skin doing stuff. What? Okay, let me just put some hair and then keep it going. Look, I'm just like swiping. It has color. I know, and the camera that never shows. Here, I'm like, what? So I always put in the crease. Because that's where my most of my colors are going to go, right? And then I go all over to put some down, so when I put the rest on. Oh, and then I'm now I'm, I'm coaching my son's track team for discus and shot put. And my son is doing really well. He's in first place. Everybody says, like, it's not fair. Coach goes to home with him. He's teaching, she's teaching him stuff. Teaching him the same stuff that everybody gets. So I don't cheat my son special. It's awesome that he's winning for it. But nothing, I'm not teaching him anything different than the other kids. Okay. So now I'm gonna get my Morphe M433 brush. It's a little dirty. I promise it's clean. Nothing's coming on the brush. All right, so what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna do the red in the crease. And if you like red, look. I want to do red. Let me do red. That to the same side to the other. I like building color people. I don't like just swiping the color on. Sometimes I do. When I'm doing these type of things, I want to build the color up. Like uh, a bruise. <sighs> I don't want to take a look like a bruise, but it does. Incoming call. I put it on screen. Sorry about that. But the client would have been like, excuse me, wait a second. Wait, what? It was telemarketing. So with no extra product on my brush, it's just now dirty from the pigmented. I'm blending this out so it's not as harsh. So then I go back to the thing. E27 brush. I kind of blend this out. I don't want it that harsh that it looks like. And I'm going very light. Everything's like, no. I'm like barely touching my skin. 
You can see there's not that much tugging on that or anything like that. Think, and it blends out the color. Get that color right there. And deepen the crease a little. And then connect it and wing it out. Why do I want to wing it out? So that way I have a guide for my wing. Repeat the process. Connect. And I'll just drop here. Where in the hell? Hmm. There you go. I get some pigmentation on this thing. <laughs> Don't worry about being sloppy because you're not done. It always looks gross until you're done. I always tell people it always looks gross until you're done. There we go. Kind of matches, right? brown right there landed there I think it's this size always darker and this one's like brighter I need to fix the lighting I really do okay so now I'm gonna go with the black but I'm gonna change brushes to my I think the E 18 brush or E 17 brush E 17 I go on black. Do 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 do, and then I darken this out. I always wonder why I do that. It's if I don't like the payoff of the brown and I want it darker. Black always smokes things out and gets things darker. Like if I don't have like a dark blue and I want to use a dark blue, what I usually do is I put the blue and then I put black and it darkens it. I bought a new Natasha Denona black eyeshadow, the blackest black matte and gold rush. I haven't used it yet. So I, I was thinking about doing inspired looks like Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman so I'll probably use Natasha's black eyeshadow probably in the Batman series or even in the Superman series so I like it a lot I always get black eyeshadow down here I really don't care because I'm gonna Smoke it and yield. All right, so I'm done with the top. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get my NYC Hot Definition, which is like a marker, and make the wing, and then fill it in with the liquid. Right? Yes. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Almost wing, and then
feel like I have to hold my breath when I do my eyeliner. Does anybody else have that problem? I don't want to, like, and then, you know. I'll be going to ask you, why are you doing this new technique? I thought I was doing it new, it's just, I like it. Like, this liner comes out really shiny, but then it mattes it out and it looks gorgeous. It doesn't have like those little dots that look like I didn't fill it in. That's why I'm doing it like this now. The only thing is, yes, it's super wet. So I can't look up until it's dry. All that drying. Put my inner corner. I didn't do anything. Look inside. So I'm gonna get my Mac 242 brush. I have yet to find one from Morphe that will add color like this one does. I think it's this one, M167. This is supposed to be the the dupe for the Mac 242 brush. It's the M421. But I'm going to show you why I don't think it's the dupe. Okay. I'm going to put a swatch here. Which didn't do shit. And then a swatch next to it. And then I'm going to swatch with my fingers. You can see that it does have color. So, swatch with finger. The Morphe. M421 and then the Mac 242. Okay, so I'm gonna just do a little bit of shine in the lid. And I forgot for doing my liner. So and I'm gonna put a little bit of light in the corner. Okay. Next thing next, I'm gonna do L'Oreal Matte Matic Eyeliner. This is my favorite drugstore black eyeliner. That's all I have to say. It's very explainable. Okay. Can't say this is my favorite because I also like the color pop ones. So it's like, ah! But. The reason why I'm dragging it down because you're gonna see me smoke it out, so that's why I do that. Okay, so then I'm gonna get my E36 brush from Morphe. Yes, I like the elite line. Don't shoot the kill it. Don't shoot the messenger. Right, I'm gonna get the dark brown first and just try to smoke it out. Now people always look up when they do like, what have you missed? And poke your eye. I don't like doing that. It's 
pretty smoky. Now I'm gonna go back. Oh, this is I did it backwards, but it works. That's how I do it. Do the smoke so you can't see the mistake, and then smoke it up more. Then I get my E43 brush, which is a flat definer brush from the Elite line. Definition in the smoke. Okay. And then go in with this super black. So be careful. Now, to give it some little bit of color, I'm going to do the red and put it down there too. Just a little. Because red sometimes makes you look like your eyes are sick or you're infected or whatever. So just to give it a little bit of warmth. Now that that's done, I can do my eyelashes. I know people are like, why don't you do eyebrows? I don't know if people, I don't do anything in order. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Okay, so I go from the bottom, wiggle to the top. I'm using the L'Oreal telescopic mixture. No, this is not sponsored by L'Oreal. <laughs> Just notice that too. Why do I do that? <laughs> that top part? Because the shadows make the eye the eyelashes look white. So I want to make sure they're coated all the way. Does anybody ever have like a really long lash in the inner part of their eye? I do, and I'm kind of if I should cut it. There you go, from the top part. And then wiggle it. Okay, now the lower lash. I'm gonna silence so I concentrate on that. I messed up a little bit here, but I usually wait for it to super dry before I mess with it. You know what? Screw it. You can't tell, can you? Ah! Okay, so the newest of news that I have, I finally, finally, finally found Jordana. None of my Walgreens carried it, and I was like, what in the hell? So finally, they brought it. It was like in the makeup, not makeup section. It was in like the, the checkout line in the makeup section. I was like, whoa. Haven't seen Jordana, so here it is. Ha ha ha. Alright, so this is Tawny. Every time I miss my lips on camera, so try not to. Okay, you know me and my nudes, doesn't work what I do, okay, hold on, 
What is this one? Okay. So I'm going to use, this is a new one too, Remo Full Color Lip Liner in Epic. Before I take it off, you know me and my nudes, I don't like them, so. It's not that I don't, okay, it's not that I don't like them. Let's take that back. I do like them. It's just. My perfect nude would be like a mauve kind of color with some reddish to brown undertones. If I can make my perfect mood by mixing colors, you know, you know, like when you, you know, like when you draw, um, you want purple, but you don't have purple, you get red and black. Same thing with lip colors, so don't get upset. Okay, so this one is called Rock and Rose. Let's see if I can put some color in it. I'm also doing a joke so you cannot test out the colors. Like, if it was this color on my lips, it would be perfect. It's not. Okay, one more. One more, one more, one more. I'm pretty much testing all the ones I bought. So, don't get upset with me, people. It's just mixing stuff. Okay, and this one's called Baby Bear. Let's see if this helps. I'm adding a dimension. I hope so. Okay. Okay, so this is the Remo Epic. This is Rock and Rose, Baby Berry, and Tawny. Like, Epic I think is pretty, but when I put it on my lips, it doesn't look the same. Because I'm dark. You make That makes any sense. Okay, one more try to salvage his lip. I'm gonna get the Milani Plum Rose. And this smells like bubblegum. Mm -hmm. There we go. Kind of getting it, kind of. More. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, then of course I don't have a setting spray from drugstore. I don't. I know it's a shame. Let me get makeup forever. Mm. What do you think, guys? I hope you guys enjoyed this. My battery's about to die. Alright guys, so I'll be trying to post as much as I can, but if I can't, don't kill me. Alright? Love you guys. Mm.